Hello, and thank you for joining me. I am Stephen Perlin. I am here at the Vestal Rail Trail. Why? Well, because if you missed, you blinked and you missed it, the sun was out for a little bit, and we're here to talk about skin cancer awareness and sun safety. May is, uh, that's one of the themes of the, May, of the month of May, and we all love the sun. We all love getting out in the sun. We love the rays, how it feels, especially after a cold winter. Oh, yeah and we want to be out there and enjoy it, but we have to be safe because, like I said, skin cancer, melanoma, we have to be weary of, the, weary of these things, and we got to make sure that we are protecting ourselves. So today is joining me is UHS dermatologist, Dr. Manisha Manmahan, and she's going to be giving us some advice on what we should do when we're out and why we should be protecting ourselves. Thank you for joining me today, doctor. Really appreciate your time. Thanks for having me, Stephen. Um, so yeah, um, skin cancer is uh, very common in the United States and you know the sun can cause a lot of um, negative effects on our skin including aging wrinkles fine lines but on you know a more important health side it can cause skin cancer as well absolutely and now talk to me a little bit about I mean we all hear skin cancer we hear melanoma mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that we understand it so talk to me a little bit about it what it is and how we can really protect ourselves exactly so melanoma is a type of skin cancer that arises from the pigment cells in our skin it's a more aggressive form of skin cancer, so it's really important that we detect it early, and protecting ourselves from the sun is also key to preventing melanoma. Um, there are also other types of skin cancers, inclu including basal cell skin cancers and squamous cell skin cancers, which are much more common and are also caused by the sun. So, uh, I mean, as much as we love the sun, it's a little bit our enemy, but we, we're not going to hold it against the sun. Obviously, it means well. Mm -hmm. um, so when we're out and about, what should I be doing? I mean, obviously, we, we go to the beach, we wear shorts and a T-shirt. Yeah. Um, we should be doing a little bit more than that, and that's not enough, correct? That is correct. So when we go out to the beach or are enjoying a day out in the sun, we should remember to put on our sunscreen, SPF 30 or higher. Um, and when we're outside enjoying these outside activities, going swimming, when we get out of the water, we need to reapply our sunscreen. Um, and you know even just if we're out there busy we need to be reapplying every couple of hours and I know uh, we are wearing a nice hat today and it yes. does look good on you and we're not thank just wearing you. it for fun thank you. there's a yeah. reason behind it too and it's for people <laughs> like me who should be wearing these type of well maybe absolutely. not this specific hat absolutely thank you so much for reminding me even better than sunscreen or as an important adjunct to the sunscreen sun protective clothing including you know a broad brimmed hat you know, a swim shirt if we're out in the water, you know, long sleeves, longer, you know, you want them to be lightweight because it's hot out, hopefully, <laughs> in the yeah. summer. Um, but those sorts of things are going to do a lot to protect us from the sun. And there's a ton of those like, lightweight shirts that you can find around here or just mm -hmm. in general sporting stores or just regular stores, too. Um, and you can find them because they're lightweight, they feel it, and like you won't feel it when you're wearing it, so it won't be bogging you down when you're trying to have a good time in the sun. Absolutely, absolutely. So for sun protective clothing, you can look for a symbol called UPF. Um, that's a little bit different than SPF, but kind of you can think about it very similarly. All right, well, you just said the magic words, SPF. Uh, so we all hear SPF, we all, oh, you got to put on 30 SPF, you got to put on 50 SPF. But if, there, if anybody watching is anything like me, they have no idea what that means and we just follow blindly. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this and what it is and why it's important to, yeah. to pay attention. So SPF means sun protective factor, and the number is not necessarily like an additive. So SPF of 30 means that if you stayed out, um, in the sun, it would take you with, you know, and you properly applied it, it would take you 30 times longer to develop that redness in the skin than it would if you weren't wearing it. Um, so we, you know, in dermatology, or generally as physicians, we recommend that you wear an SPF of 30 or higher. Um, so an SPF of 30 is going to block out 97% of the UVB radiation, whereas an SPF of 50 is going to block out 98%. You might think that that's a small difference, but if you think about that the other way around, as 2% versus 3%, the SPF um, 50 is blocking out 50% more of the of those UVB rate, um, rays. Which is important because obviously we want to protect ourselves so we don't get the skin cancer or anything like that. Exactly. And then one thing I want to touch on, and uh, it's perfect kind of weather for the weather today because one second it's sunny, one second it's cloudy. Um, in these type of scenarios, you still have to protect yourself, correct? Even on these cloudy days, there's still some sun, prote sun yeah. protection that's necessary? Yes. That's a very common misconception, Stephen, that, you know, 
when this, you know, the sun is not out, if you can't see it, that nothing's coming and, you know, hitting your skin, that's incorrect. Still on cloudy days, a good amount of UV radiation can come through. So I would recommend that even on a cloudy day that you go ahead and protect yourself. Yeah, see, that's good information because I know everybody's like, well, it's cloudy. I don't have to worry about the sun or getting burned, but you still do. And I, from my understanding, sunglasses are very important on those days too for your eyes, correct? Oh, yes. Yeah, let's protect those eyes. Um, I think, you know, you, you want to make sure too that your sunglasses, when you purchase them, that they have, there's a little sticker on, that, that on them that says that there's UV protection in them. Um, protecting the eyes is also very important. So it's not just about looking good with those sunglasses. You want to have some protection too. I mean, we all know it's mostly about looking good, but you got to have that protection there too. Well, thank you, everybody. We appreciate you joining up. Oh, we knew that was going to happen eventually. There is some wind. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We hope you got a lot of great information. Uh, you can head to myuhs.org for more, informa uh, more information on dermatology and our services. Thank you for joining us today, doctor. Anything else you want to add to everybody out there? Nope, that's it. Stay safe out there in the sun, guys. That's what I was going to say. Stay safe. Thanks, everyone.